Hi, this is Steve Strickland with Cam Tech Engineering, and today for Master Cam Monday, we're going to be using a dynamic contour to do an exterior contour here on this part. And I want to show you where the dynamic motion is going to give you an overall better part finish while reducing the wear and tear on the tool you're using. And we'll be comparing against a standard 2D contour operation. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to first look at the standard contour. Before I do so, I want to point out the overall exterior shape of this part and show that if it wasn't for this region here, the standard contour would work just fine. But it's in this area, and as we illustrate with a back plot, as the tool enters this particular area, it's going to over-engage the material, and that's going to produce more heat, more wear and tear, and overall, a part finish we're not going to be happy with. So in comparison, now let's take a look at how the dynamic contour is going to approach this area with dynamic motion. As we now take a look at the dynamic contour, we're going to see at first glance this toolpath looks very, very similar to the standard contour we were just looking at. Um, definitely not seeing any kind of dynamic motion in the corners, but I want to jump into the parameters page and show you why that's not occurring. So in the parameters page underneath cut parameters, there's a contour wall page that only exists in dynamic contour and does not exist in the standard contour. And what this is going to allow us to do is provide some information that we knew from a previous roughing operation. For example, let's say the radius of the tool we used in the previous roughing operation was uh, one inch. If I say okay there and regenerate that tool path, we're gonna see now we have the dynamic motion coming in and with a back plot, it's gonna be very clear here how different the strategy is in this particular area. So I'm gonna play this forward and watch as the tool enters. It's gonna use dynamic motion. It's gonna gradually enter there. That's producing a consistent chip load, uh, less wear and tear, less heat buildup, uh, and an overall better finish as compared to our standard contour operation for this particular example. So this is gonna close out our Master Cam Monday on dynamic contour. As always, if you have any questions about what we did here today or any specific setups on your specific application, please don't hesitate in reaching out. We'd be happy to help. Thank you.